Hello folks, uh, this time I have got uh, 2016 May June paper 23 and the question number is 7. It is concerned with the chapter waves and uh, superposition. Uh, it says average used to produce stationary waves on a stretched string is uh, shown in figure 71. So we have this thing, frequency generator, vibrator, it vibrates and uh, sets the string into motion. We have got pulley and we have got masses. The mass is to give it some tension. The frequency generator is switched on. Yes, switched on. Describe two adjustments that can be made to the apparatus to produce stationary waves on the screen. So this question is uh, related to our practical skills. So if uh, uh, somebody knows the theory and uh, <coughs> and uh, is given this device, uh, often called as a sonometer in uh, in in, in uh, other syllabuses. <coughs> uh, so what the people do is definitely they will adjust something. So one would be they would change the mass, change the mass. That would be uh, the mass. Uh, the change of mass causes change in the tension force. Uh, the other will be to uh, change the position of this whole vibrator here. Uh, they might uh, bring it near the pulley wheel or like this, or they might even change the position of the pulley wheel to bring it here or like that. So definitely they would do something. So that is what they ask here. So the adjustment is first is uh, vary the mass, vary the mass. So mass vary varying the mass gives uh, in, uh, change in tension force and because of that uh, <coughs> because of that uh, uh, there might come a condition when the waves are formed and also a condition in which they are not formed so next is uh, uh, changing the distance between changing the distance between the distance between between vibrator vibrator and uh, pulley pulley one word change could be the variation of frequency itself because uh, uh, sensor waves will not be produced for every frequency so only in those frequencies will it match when it uh, uh, is equal to the fundamental frequency or a certain number of times of that fundamental frequencies so next describe the features that are seen on the stress string that to include indicate uh, stereo waves have been formed so we have to say that property which indicates the presence of stereo waves so that is the presence of nodes nodes and antinodes so nodes means there are certain points where the vibration never goes like this neither this goes there nor goes it just means there while at the other other sides what will happen is so if the particle here are like this the particle here could be like this and when the same particles reach here same portion reaches here it will this will go up like this like this so here it will remain stationary and uh, at this position what could happen is it uh, performs the highest degree of vibration no vibration high degree of vibration and again low and like this so again there might be some portion like this where the vibration is less or even zero and here it is highest and so on so that's the feature that uh, tells us that uh, this wave is formed and at this point uh, remains stationary it doesn't shift like this it remains at the same position so that is one feature now in the next question we have we have the variation with time t of the distance of x of a particle caused by um, operation of r is shown like this for the same particle the variation with time t caused by second wave s is also like this so uh, the same particle here once it is given by uh, wave r and next is given by uh, yes the displacements are given like this so you might have phase difference between wave r and wave s including so we have to find the phase difference of the wave so one is coming uh, a bit earlier and another is coming a bit uh, later so that's why there's a difference in the phase so for that what you need to do is so um yeah let us go for that so this is the uh, midpoint of uh, midpoint of the wave mean point and this also is the mean point so the difference is five divisions so it is uh, five divisions uh, but the single wave will have so from here to here we have got 5 10 uh, 20 30 divisions so it is a uh, 30 divisions is the whole so that means it is uh, this 5 is 1 by 6 of the 1 by 6 of the whole wave so there is 1 by 6 of into 2 pi so this will be equal to 2 3 it will be pi by 3 equal to pi by 3 radians so this is is equal to pi by 3 radians radians we can also say it as 60 degrees 
now next is calculating the ratio in instead of wave uh, r r to instead of wave s so this is equal to this is equal to the amplitude of this uh, wave r which is uh, this is 3 here uh, it should be 3.3.4 so it is 3.4 square then this is so if this is 2 then the one division should be 0 0.2 so it's equal to 2.2 square 2.2 squared so the value should be 3.4 uh, squared divided 2.2 squared equal to so it's equal to 2.38 so equal to 2.388 something like this which is nearly equal to 2.4 so ratio is equal to 2.4 or I can also write it 2.4 is to 1 so that shows the complete work uh, work for this uh, problem